Hi people, welcome back to part two. Um, so now we're just gonna be playing with some of the brawlers. Um, and actually, let me mute that. So let's start with BB. Um, we're just gonna whack whack a bunch of people and try and do some trick shots with this uh, thing. Yes, we got. Ooh, nice. Okay. Okay, so I'm not gonna update this um, a lot now because um, I'm just not going to be updating it. So yeah, these are just the brawlers that are already there and we'll try and do some more trick shots. Trick shotting these. Okay, so we got that solid in um, today's video. I'm gonna try and be beating all three bosses with somebody. Um, without dying, yes. At the same time, so like, right now we got the ultimate boss right here. We're just gonna start doing that, okay? Hopefully, our gadget can support us right there. And the ultimate boss has a bunch of damage points, but he's not really that like powerful. Well, I mean he is pretty powerful, but. It's not like he has much health compared to some brawlers when they deal a lot of damage. Um, so yeah, BB is a pretty good brawler. We're just gonna activate our gadget again for the second time. And yeah, that's enough of BB. Who cares? Enough of BB. Enough of BB. Enough of BB. Okay. Next, we're gonna be using Barley. Some people say Barley is really good. I personally think he's trash, but um, like Barley hasn't ever been given a skin yet. Um, so basically, yeah. Okay, I guess Barley's pretty good. I'm gonna try and take down this boss over here. And uh, yeah, on the high score destroyer's boss, things are basically like kind of like home, okay, we died there, but you get my point. It's kind of like a homing missile kind of thing. So now Rogue Mortis. I used Mortis last time, but we're gonna use him again because why not, right? Like, Mortis may be one of the best people to um, take that, uh, like, wait, no, what am I doing? What am I doing? We're just gonna have to chain supers here. Hope we, hope we can get this, defeat all three bosses. Okay, there goes that boss regular boss there goes the ultimate boss we'll see if we can destroy the how high score destroy we better get out of here 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 yep bit of sticky situation here and yeah we might actually defeat this cloud high score destroy which means um we will have done it. Uh, so, yes, I did it. I defeated all three bosses. Collapse, collapse for me, okay. Uh, we're just gonna defeat this boss again. Easy, easy, easy. Get these guys out of here. Also, as you may know, season six is basically already out. Season seven, I mean. Okay, anyways, next one, after defeating all three bosses, we are going to use College Fan Ems. And this is a decent brawler with a terrible gadget. Like, it doesn't even do anything. Well, not really, at least. Actually, it does do something, but like, yeah. So it pushes them back a bit. Not that good. I mean, Ems could do a decent amount of damage, though. So, um, let's just defeat some people. And spinny, spinny, spinny. I think I need to buff Ems' health. He has way too little health. Spawn the ultimate boss using eight, and we're gonna fry him to pieces. And yeah, M super, M super for the win. Oh, easy, we easily got rid of him. M super doesn't slow the bosses down, but I mean, yeah. Okay, yeah, we died there. Don't need to talk about that. Anyways, um. Poco time, Poco, 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 Poco has too much healing. So if you stand here, you can go like this, and then you can just literally stand in the boss. 
bosses like attacks and you'll still survive, kind of. Maybe not. I was wrong. Okay, Poco doesn't do any damage, so you can barely get rid of anybody. Next, Lantern Sandy. So the thing with Sandy Super, it's not like regular Super doesn't hide them. But when you're in here, you can't take any damage. But you can't heal any damage either. So in general, it's pretty good. Um, for like, if you're going to spawn all bosses. Then you better use the super. And uh, yeah, it's pretty OP here. We'll just get a new super. Sandy's reloading speed is really slow, so that's the only problem with that. And uh, yeah. Just gonna chill around here, letting the bosses spin around on us. Okay, ultimate boss is defeated. Okay, we'll take that win. We'll take that win. But now we've got Cloud, Cloud High Score Destroyer guy. Not so easy to defeat. He has way too much health. He's tanky like Frankie. You know what? That's it of Sandy. Um, we'll go Amber. Amber has a few glitches to her, but she's still pretty OP at saucing people in life. We By that, I mean she's pretty OP. Like, literally. When she has full ammo reloaded, of course, in the real game, like, you could do this. Like this. And saucer, and her gadget makes her faster, of course. There are a few glitches with Amber, but it's fine. Um, yeah. So, let's spawn... The bosses, two bosses, and get us out of here, yep. Well, you saw the Cloud High Score Destroyer actually lost his shield when she uh, when he stepped in Amber's burn. Now, Lou, oh my. Okay, so Lou's gadget, we're just gonna go invincible for a second and then start freezing people. Like, literally, you can freeze people and this guy can barely move now. And I think you get a speed buff when you step on Lou's super now, so. Shoot, better be careful, better be a little careful. All right, living on a prayer, 560 health. And we're still alive. Okay, yeah, we are alive. Okay, now we're just gonna wait a bit and then uh, spawn all three bosses. So, since the boss is the ultimate boss, it won't f the attacks won't freeze him, but they will freeze the cloud high score. This, what, I went invincible. Anyways, we died there. Well, time to use some Byron. Now, Byron Super may have been a little too OP, so you can basically just do this. And boo, already gone. Now we're gonna spawn this guy, spawn that guy, spawn that guy, spawn some more of this guy, and then go right up to him. If we can survive, no, okay, we're gonna try Byron again. We're gonna try Byron again, it's gonna be fine. Byron again, Byron, Byron, Byron. Okay, boom, gonna activate gadget very soon, activate gadget, uh, okay, Byron Super goes down way too slow, we're not gonna give up though, I kinda wanna see what the end result is, if we do this, just gonna wait for that tick out, and then chain super, okay, boom, nope, it's not gonna work like that, they say, What? All right, maybe the um, ultimate boss does a little too much damage. Oops, okay, now we're gonna uh, go into Quick Draw Edgar. He's insane, I added some custom effects for him. And uh, you can defeat the ultimate boss pretty easy by just jumping on him, spinning around him, doing a bunch of other stuff. Doing a bunch of Edgar stuff, using his gadget, spawning ultimate high score destroyer, healing on him, spinning around him, and dying. The end. Okay, that's it for Quick Draw Edgar. Now, Gale, not crack of Gale. Gale is a decent brawler in this game because of his super, which he can obviously chain, and his gadget, which is jump. Yes, let's jump. Okay, good. I'm gonna push us over there, and then we're gonna take the spring trap thing again. And then chain supers, like that.
Okay, good. Doing pretty decent, except we're about to die. Oh, okay, we defeated him. Now let's spawn these two bosses and we're dead. Well, uh, sorry about that. Um, let's try Byron again. I kind of like using Byron. I have Byron in the real game as well. Okay, ultimate boss. We're going to snipe him from long range now. And if we need, heal ourselves. Heal ourselves. Okay, good. Gadget, gadget, and get out of here. Get me out of here, Byron. Get me out of here. As you can see, it doesn't really poison the ultimate boss because he's ultimate, supposedly. Oh no, shoot. No! Okay. Well, that's it for uh, my life. Okay, Poco. We'll go Poco again. Give him another chance. This is like literally too insane. Like all you have to do is just go around him and boom. Okay, well that's gonna be it for Poco. We'll just summon some bosses to kill me, hopefully. Okay, yes. Now the last thing I want to show you guys is my um uh click of game thing. You didn't see anything. Okay, so I have a new tutorial called How to Make a Clicker Game. Um, it's part one. So yeah, I'm just gonna go through it. So um, first you have to make variables. Um, three variables, money, money per click and money per second for all sprites. Um, next, you want the code. So set money to zero, set money per click to one, set money per second to zero. Show variable money, show variable money per click, show variable money per second. Note this is part one, but like for the show variables, it basically lets you see the variables when you click the green flag. Set money to zero, well, you can't start with like one million money, you know. Set money per click, money per click is how much money you make per clicking. So that's basically a clicker game. When you click it, you gain money when you click the object. So then set money per second to zero. Um, that's gonna be for like part two, mainly for part two, but we're just gonna make the variable for now. Um, that lets it um, like give you money per second. Uh, but right now, since the money per second is zero, then you don't gain any money per second. Um, you can find that in the shop later and stuff like that. Um, okay, let me just add navigation controls quick. Use the left and right arrows to nav. The gate. Okay, uh, costumes, you just make whatever you want in the costumes uh, instead of Scratch Cat, but for this one, I'm gonna use Scratch Cat as an example. So, uh, duplicate that costume, make the object slightly smaller like this, so you can see there's a difference between costume one and costume two. Costume two is smaller than costume one. Back to the code. So, this code you can um, this is essential. The wait one seconds change money by money per second part is um, for the uh, money per second thing, which basically makes it change by the money per second. Okay, so if you're touching the mouse pointer and mouse down, uh, change money by money per click, which is how much money you make per click. Switch cost into smaller. This is why I asked you to duplicate it so it looks like you're actually clicking it and then. Um, wait until not mouse down so you can't spam spam things. Okay, now this is for um, advanced people, kind of. Um, if you're a scratcher, then you can add cloud high score variables, which basically um, lets you see who has um, like got the high score, I guess. Um, so then you would just add these things, the extra code to the top part and the bottom part, it's a bit complicating, but you see uh, the money is greater than the world high score part, which I enlarge here. And um, yeah, that's basically part one. Um, so this link will be in the comments. Um, and I'm going to try to make my uh, description a little neater for the videos. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.